Hi, I'm Jeff Haynes, editor at Tech Bargains, and today we're bringing you a video review of the Samsung Chromebook. For some time now, technology pundits and commentators have talked about the cloud as the future of personal computing, because you'll have access to any of your files anywhere you go at any point in time. Unfortunately, the concept of the cloud hasn't really taken off because devices haven't been built from the chip up to fully take advantage of this digital experience. Well, that is until now. Samsung and Google created the Chromebook to be optimized for both the web and the cloud. But the obvious question happens to be, is this the perfect digital device to suit all of your needs? The Samsung Chromebook is powered by an Intel Atom N570 processor running Chrome OS at 1.66 GHz with 2 GB of DDR3 RAM. This is supplemented by an NM10 graphics chipset with integrated graphics and shared graphical memory. The chipset powers a super bright 12.1 inch LED display with a native resolution of 1280 by 800. The system comes with a 16 gigabyte solid state drive, two USB ports, a 4-in-1 multi-card slot, and a VGA dongle adapter. Rounding out the specs are a one megapixel webcam, stereo speakers, and full Wi-Fi connectivity. We were really struck by the sleek design of the Chromebook. The system is thin, lightweight, and fits into any bag easily. It may weigh just over three pounds, but it's balanced so well that you don't even notice it. Plus, the device looks beautiful. We were eager to dive into it as soon as we unboxed it, and wherever we took the Chromebook, we constantly got questions about the machine. Aside from its aesthetic look, the system was unbelievably quick and easy to use. The machine boots up in less than 10 seconds once the lid is opened, and turns off when the lid is closed. What's more, logging into the machine is as easy as using your Google account info and letting it automatically sync up your information. Getting online couldn't be easier, and since the machine is designed to always be online, it's easy to leap onto a Wi-Fi connection or use the included 3G data plan from Verizon Wireless that provides 100 megabytes a month for two years for free. If you exhaust that, you can easily subscribe to Verizon's pay-per-use data plan. Of course, with a machine that's designed for the web and the cloud, you'd expect that the Chromebook would utilize it to the fullest. The machine ties itself to Google's various services like Gmail, Google Music, Picasa, and Google Docs, among others, so you constantly have access to any files you want. In many ways, this makes your files much more secure than other machines, because if anything catastrophic happens to your Chromebook, like theft or failure of the device, your files are completely protected on Google servers. Plus, it's up to you to determine your online experience via apps and services. Thanks to the Chrome Web Store, it's easy to play games, get news and media apps, or boost your productivity. Since these are frequently updated, more apps should always be available to keep your experience up to date. The constantly online nature of the Chromebook does come with some surprisingly secure advantages over many other systems on the market as well. For one thing, users have fewer reasons to concern themselves with virally infected emails or security compromised websites. Thanks to the built-in security of the operating system, the Chromebook regularly checks and updates itself with the latest malware and virus protection, helping it keep your data and your machine safe. Additionally, this security extends to your personal data on the Chromebook. It's possible to loan the machine to friends or family in guest mode and know that they can't access your information. Once their session is done, their data is erased too, so there's no impact on the machine. There's one further side benefit to the machine always being on, which is that it's designed to make the system run much faster with each additional update. In fact, the machine loads up the latest version of Chrome OS without any forced manual updates. While we haven't had the system for three months or even six months to determine how much faster it's gotten, it's nice to know that the system will handle the updating for us. Apart from the online and operating system features, we found some rather impressive facets with the technical specs of the Chromebook. The chiclet cell keyboard was rather nice and clearly designed to enhance the web experience. Part of this was due to the dedicated browsing keys, like the search button, back and forward arrows, and other web-enabled commands. Plus, while we were initially concerned about the size of the screen, we found watching video and movies on the monitor to be an enjoyable experience. Colors and images were bright, clear, and viewable from all angles, which was a very nice bonus. Plus, we loved the fact that the Chromebook packed an incredibly long battery life. Most estimates of the device were rated to be rather high. We discovered that we could easily get around eight and a half hours on a single charge. When you consider all of this from a system that costs less than 500 bucks, you're getting quite a deal. We did have some issues with the Chromebook, most of them tied directly to the nature of the device itself. For example, the sound is pretty awful. We thought that with the size of the device and the speakers being on the bottom of the machine, the sound quality could be solid, but we had to max out the volume just to watch any clip whatsoever. 
you're definitely going to want some headphones to enjoy any apps or movie clips. Then again, we also ran into some issues with actually playing video files on the Chromebook. There are only a limited number of codecs available for the system, so playing AVI files from memory cards or external drives wasn't an option, and only limited MP4s worked. We had to re-encode many of the movies that we wanted to run on the Chromebook, making us realize that if we wanted to watch something, we were pretty much tied to what was already on the web. Additionally, due to the nature of the system and its limited storage, your browsing data is automatically deleted to make additional room, just like non-used profiles that aren't the master account are deleted after 90 days. Since the machine only comes with 16 gigabytes of storage, you're going to find yourself running out of space quite frequently, which means you're going to need to rely upon external devices for saving anything outside of the cloud. That speaks to one of the larger issues, which is that this isn't like a standard laptop. You're not going to be using WiDi, playing the latest games, handling business through Microsoft Office, or other frequently used laptop tasks. In fact, you'll probably need to make a serious determination as to whether this device will suit your needs. It may be out of the ordinary, and it probably won't be the perfect device for users that need the traditional functions of a laptop. But for those people that spend hours upon hours surfing the web, listening to music, and checking their email, the Samsung Chromebook is perfect. It's simple to use, it requires no maintenance, and it can be taken with you anywhere you go, making it an awesome web device. The benefits of the device far outweigh the negatives, which is why we decided to give the Samsung Chromebook a 4.5 out of 5. For more reviews on the latest products, as well as coupons and deals on systems like the Samsung Chromebook, be sure to check out techbargains.com.